Greetings everyone, Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com and thank you for joining us as we continue on our journey through all the watches and accessories that are available at R2AWatches.com. If you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure and hit like and subscribe and ring that bell so you get the early notifications when we've posted a new video. If you are watching this on Facebook, you want to join the closed group Vostok Europe Timepieces or VET. Don't let the name fool you. We talk about all the different watches that are available at R2A Watches on there, not just Vostok Europe, though of course we do spend a lot of time talking about Vostok Europe in that group. But today, the watch we're talking about, um, <clears throat> new brand, well, a new brand and new to us, uh, I guess those two go hand in hand. Um, Esoteric is being discussed on that group as well, so you definitely want to uh, get in there and find out what all the great things are about the watches that we carry. And that and the really, really great thing about that group is there's so much camaraderie. Anyway, we could talk about, more about that later, or you know what, better yet, just join the group and you'll find out how great it is. Today we are talking about esoteric watches. Uh, esoteric watches. So I guess they're kind of obscure. Uh, um, Esoteric Watches is a new brand by Christian Champion. Now, Christian Champion, if you don't know, is the owner of Ocean Crawler Watches. Now, Ocean Crawler, we've been carrying for a little bit more than a year here at R2AWatches.com. They are some of the best made dive watches on the market, Ocean Crawler is, uh, no question about it. Um, and we are very proud to be carrying them. Where is Air Esoteric coming in in terms of relationship to Ocean Crawler? Well, first of all, again, it is uh, owned by Christian Champion, who started Ocean Crawler because he was a, he's a diver himself, and he's always been a big fan of dive watches in general. Uh, Christian got his start at, well, where he came from out of the business that he came out of into watches uh, was computer programming. He actually developed one of the first pieces of software that allowed parents to track what their kids were doing online. Um, he cashed out from that and decided he wanted to start his own watch brand and that's when he started Ocean Crawler. Uh, he's had a very interesting life. He was actually uh, born in Peru. He was uh, educated in Europe and he now resides in Rochester, New York. Um, and he just has a passion for dive watches. Well, the Ocean Crawler brand would be uh, you know, what you might argue definitely would be an upper middle brand uh, for sure. Um, and he knows that he had a lot, he has a lot of fans of Ocean Crawler who really love the watches, but they're just a little bit out of reach for them in terms of price point. So he came, he came up with the idea of esoteric watches. Let me get this in focus here came up with the idea of esoteric watches and part, partnered up with Shane Snyder. <clears throat> I'm sure I said that beautifully. Uh, Shane Snyder. Uh, many of you will probably be aware of who he is as is, is you've seen him on social media, Facebook and other places, Instagram. He is one of the best working watch photographers in the business today. Um, and he and Christian are actually partners in the esoteric brand. Now, esoteric. Well, that's a that's a really cool name, um, you know, uh, for the, for the sake of it, because it's an, a little bit more of an unusual name. Uh, I'm going to give you the actual dish, dictionary dictionary the actual dictionary definition of esoteric. Uh, it is defined as intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. Well, when it comes to deep diving, that is definitely something that has a specialized knowledge or interest, um, and there are certainly obscure things about deep diving and especially in relation to watches um, that will that make this an interesting brand um, and an understandable why the name is what it is. Not everybody is going to be interested in all those special aspects that are really required to have a really great dive watch. And this is, let's be absolutely clear, a really great dive watch. Now I mentioned that the idea behind it that Ocean Crawler had was to basically take Ocean Crawler in a lot of ways um, and make a uh, I, I hate I hate to say a more affordable, but a more approachable price point. The primary difference between an esoteric and an ocean crawler in terms of specs is really only the movement. Uh, the esoteric line uses the Miyota 9000 series, which is no slouch in and of itself. Let's be absolutely clear that even though it is a less expensive movement and therefore is allowing for the watch to be a little a little bit less expensive, the 9000 series is one of the best movements made in the world. So let's let's let's. Don't get any confusion about that. But the Ocean Crawler series does tend to use uh, the upper end of the Swiss movements. That's going to be your Soprod or your uh, or your um, 
Swiss Eta Valjou or your Salida. Uh, and that's, you're not going to find that in the esoteric brand. You're only going to find the, at this point, the Miyota 9000 series. Um, so I think they're probably going to be sticking to Japanese movements. That's going to be their primary focus. Uh, and that's, again, is to make the watch more affordable. But you get all the other amazing specs that you get out of a uh, ocean crawler in the esoteric line. They, they, they've kept everything, not the least of which is that this one has an, an off-the-hook uh, water resistance with 60 ATM. That's 600 meter or 2,000 feet. That is just a crazy water resistance. That is um, just off the chart. So much more than you need, so much more than, than is required for it to be a professional grade dive watch. Um, so that right there just tells you that you're getting the same the, the same level of quality that you've come to uh, expect from Ocean Crawler, but you're getting it at a more affordable price because of the Miyota movement. So you're getting all of those specs that you just come to enjoy. And speaking of specs, I think it's a good time for us to go through all four of the watches. Now, this is the Bathiel collection, and they named each one after the color and they did it in Spanish and I'm going to tell you right now that I'm probably going to butcher it but I will do the best I can uh, with the bathiel in blue is the azul then you have the green which is this really great just awesome matte green um, and that's not somebody's name matte green that's what I'm saying is it's matte green okay that's my bad attempted humor um, the verde that is the name of this one and then you have the Oscuro, the Oscuro, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Oscuro, which means dark in Spanish, and that is the one with the DLC plating, that means diamond-like carbon plating, I'll get back to that in a few minutes. And then you've got the Gris or Gray. Now, this is called the Bathiel. The Bathiel is actually a place in the ocean it is it is it is the space between the continental shelf and the de and the beginning of the deepest depths of the ocean and in fact part of the area in the bathiel uh, even light can't penetrate we're talking about 1000 feet to 4000 feet deep that's the area of the of the, of the ocean known as the bathiel um, it actually comes from the greek bathys which means deep there's a big shock um, and that is fitting for a watch that you could literally take down into the bathiel. And there's a lot of watches that you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but when you're talking about a watch that has 2,000 feet uh, water resistance, then you could take it down into the bathiel. And that's why it has the name. And then, of course, again, each individual one is named for the color. So let's go through the specs. First thing I like to do, I always like to do, is measure... Even though we know, I'll tell you right now, that the manufacturer specs on this watch are that it's 44 millimeters across and 14 millimeters thick. Now, my handy dandy caliper does not always give us exactly the same amount. And some of that's just about the way I may be holding it or uh, at the angle of it. Um, you know, but I do like to at least put it on there. Here we go. 44.9. It's not quite. There we go. 44. Yep, it's 44 across and it is 14.3 deep and that actually part of that is enhanced by the fact that it does have this raised sapphire crystal uh, which gives for a really interesting uh, side view angle view on this watch uh, all of them are surgical grade stainless steel uh, of course i mean i just i feel like whenever i say they're, they're surgical grade stainless steel that that's almost like a you know, a given these days. Uh, they come with this really, really, really top quality bracelet with the safety clasp, double, the double dual deployant safety clasp with the two buttons on the side, fully articulated individual links. So you have a great deal of comfort. Curve underneath the case for comfort as well. And of course, because this is a dive watch, it has the unidirectional rotating bezel. This is a 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel. It is extremely tight, extremely, extremely well made. You can just feel the quality. You can hear it as I'm turning it. Um, the other really, really amazing part of this watch is the loom. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you a quick loom shot. Abe, I'm ready whenever you are. Check out the loom on these puppies. Wow. This has beautiful, beautiful loom. 
I don't know how many silk screen layers they are here, but it's got to be quite a few. Um, this is just top quality loom, and that's what you want to have in a dive watch. Okay, we're good, Abe. Thank you. So again, 100, 120 click rotating bezel. It's got the, it's, it's your cushion style case, 44 millimeter, 14 millimeters thick. So let's talk about size a little bit. Size is one of those things that's really hard to get your mind around, um, you know, in terms of what you really want, what the customer really wants. I know that when we're designing watches, one of the most difficult decisions we ever make is determining what size we're going to make the watch. I would put this one in that very approachable size for almost anybody who wants to wear a watch that is not going to be oversized. 44 millimeters. Um, you could put it kind of in that Goldilocks range. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, I, you know what? Let me give a quick wrist shot. You guys can get an idea for how it looks on the wrist. And then you can see for yourself. But it's, you know, it's it's not big, it's not small. I, that's really the bottom line on this one. And, and if one of the things I found over the years, like when I was really surprised, for instance, at the 33 millimeter Gagarin from Stravansky. See, look at that. That that wears, that fills my wrist up. I mean, oh, anyway, I interrupted myself. So the, I was surprised at the 33 millimeter uh, watch from Stravansky, uh, the Gagarin commemorative. I was surprised at how much I could wear it. I mean, I thought, oh, that's going to be so tiny. Why in the world, you know, but it was, you know, it is, there's, it has to do with the design. Uh, you know, here you've got the cushion case, which spreads it out a little bit, um, although it is only a 48 millimeter lug to lug width on this. And the lug width on the strap is 22, and it does come with an extremely high quality uh, a leather strap as well. Oh, and let me show you the case back. The case back on these watches is just gorgeous, where he has the esoteric logo. You can see it etched on the back. And look at that with the nice, the nice uh, sanded metal look on the back. It's just so, it's so sweet. Beautifully done on the case back. And uh, one of the things there is you can also see the design language from Ocean Crawler. Ocean Crawler has that circular type logo. Uh, they carried that over to uh, Esoteric. So these are the four different styles that are currently available. Again, it has everything you're looking for in a men's dive watch. It has the unidirectional rotating bezel for elapsed time measurement. It is, it is 60 ATM. I'm still like, that's just a crazy, crazy high number. Uh, it has fantastic loom. I love the sandwich dial. I'm a big fan of sandwich dials myself. Um, it has a screw-in crown, which by the way, operates just smoothly as can be. It has, and of course, with this kind of water resistance, it's gonna have a screw-in crown. All surgical grade stainless steel. Oh, and I mentioned earlier, um, and I want to make sure I get it right. It is the DLC or diamond light carbon plating on this. This is a this is a grade above your regular PVD plating, and it's going to give you a longer wearability and, and less likely to show wear. And a couple of other important points before I completely wrap up on today's show. Uh, first of all, this does come with a five-year warranty. That is that alone tells you um, the faith that the manufacturers have in their watch if they're going to give you a five-year warranty so that's important to note also i really love the packaging on this um, this is a it's a leather it's a genuine leather pouch the watch goes into one slot the additional strap goes into another slot um, and you roll it up and tie it up and one of it, it reminds me I, one of the things i like about it, it reminds me of like an artisan um, you know, who would have their tools in this kind of a pouch and they roll the pouch out and they pull out their tools or you might think of a surgeon, somebody along those lines, um, which it's a nice fit for, for a brand called Esoteric. Um, so th that's the actual packaging. So again, you're getting everything you could come to expect in a very high quality uh, dive watch from the company that brought you Ocean Crawler. Until next time, I'm Craig Hester and keep watching.